This one's uncategorized. We didn't add a category. Let's go ahead and create a new one with a category. So let's just go ahead and go back to our admin actually. Let's put in another video. So let's just go through the steps again. You click on write. Title, let's just call this our second video. On education. All right. Is our gone ahead and done that let's go ahead and find another video and I'm just gonna click back and I'm going to get this math education video so I just click on it I get the ID which is up here Let me go ahead and pause this copy control C I'm going to go back and I'm just going to go through the same steps that I went through earlier. Oops, I need to create a new post. Oh, it looks like I have, okay. So down here, it has the custom field. It's already here. All I have to do is change to this one. Now if I wanted to, I could put in categories. So let's just go ahead and add in a new category. And I'm going to call this education. So I have a new category. And I'm going to select as education, not uncategorized. Go ahead and save. And I can actually just click publish. You don't have to click save and publish. But I like to do it that way. So now I should have it published and go ahead and click on visit site. And you can see I have this, I can choose by category. It looks like when I uploaded the last one, I did upload my previous one. Yeah, I did. So let's just go ahead and we'll put in another one just to get the feel for it. It takes a couple of times of practice to make sure that you get it right. But you can see how you can, by your categories, automatically appear here, which is a really nice feature. Let's go ahead and create another video just so that we can see how that's done. So let me just go ahead and go to Site Admin. And it looks like the Categories page, I need to fix that one. But let's just go ahead and go right... I'll just call this second video of education. Educating education in the world. I'll just call it that. Enjoy. So what I'm going to do, I can put in different tags here that will talk about what it is. So let's just say uh, education. You can separate the tags with pop, with commas. China's population. Okay, now let's add a new category. Let's go ahead and call this one World Education. I'm just going to add it. And I'm going to go ahead and select both of these. There we go. That means it's going to fall under both of those categories. There we go. Now I can tell I'm not on the right one because it doesn't have the vids already there. But I can select vids because I've already created it. And I'm going to go ahead and put in our first YouTube video again. So to do that, all I need... Let's just pause it. Is I need the... ID, which is just the last numbers after the equal sign, 
copy control C. Let me just come back over and paste it in here. Control V. And now let's go ahead and publish this. Oops, publish. So now let's visit the site and see what it looks like. So now you can see we have categories. We have all of our videos here. But I want to just see the education categories. I click on education and it just has those. If I just want to see the world education, it just narrows it down to there. So it shows me a thumbnail as well as a link to the next one. It also shows me the latest videos I can click on. You can have other pages, and it looks like I need to recreate the the uh, page to get us our categories. Let's go ahead and fix that before we finish. So right here is categories. It says act this page is not found. So let's go ahead and we're going to create a new page. And in the instructions it says to create the page called um, archives. I believe it is. Let me just double check. Yep, so let's just go ahead and create a page called Archives. Now the reason it didn't work earlier is we didn't have our permalink set up. Remember when we went back and changed the permalinks afterwards. You need to do that before. So make sure that your settings are set to have the permalinks create a page for you. And that's underneath Settings, Permalinks. And it's right there under Custom Structure. So let's go ahead and we're going to come back and we're going to write a new page. So I click on the right tab, I go to page, I'm just going to call this archives, scroll down, make sure the template is X HTML sitemap, Let's just publish this. Now let's visit the site and see if it works. So if we go to our categories page, there we go. It has archives of everything that we've done. It has our education, uncategorized, and it tells us the last 100 videos. So this is a really good page to have as well. So hopefully you've been able to enjoy this uh, and benefit from it. It will take a couple of times of practice to get through and figure out how this works, but this will at least open up your eyes enough to see how you can add videos to your web page and create your own, your own video blog actually using videos from YouTube.